welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna Wise and in today's video we are going to talk about how to start from scratch as a stylist. Like where do you begin? Why is it so confusing? All that. We're going to touch in it and I'm going to give you the tea. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure that you go ahead and click that button and also the like button as well. Share this with your fashion bestie if they've even trying to figure it out themselves. Share this love, share this information so that they can also understand and get the ball rolling. I am a stylist of over a decade and I am now in a place where I just really want to share the information that I felt like I didn't have when I first started out. And so in this video, we are going to be talking about how to start from scratch and what is the most important thing that you need to be focusing on right now. Okay, a lot of stylists really do not realize that the most important thing is actually building your brand not about where to find your clients it's not about you know who to reach out to as far as who to assist or all of those things your main priority is going to be your foundation a lot of people don't realize that because you know you think about well how can I just first start making money from working with other people or styling them and it takes away from you really understanding who your ideal client is and why they would actually want to work with you. How can they find you is a next step, but the first part is to create a brand around attracting that perfect ideal client for you because they want to be able to see that you can provide the services that you're wanting to provide to them and that they will benefit from by working with you. I call this the brand foundation inside my becoming a stylist starter kit because it's the start like this is your focus this is what you need to be really trying to develop in order to start to attract those clients and so that people really know that you're taking this seriously we'll talk more about that so the first thing is when you are thinking about your foundation you really want to think about who that perfect client is and the reason is because you are going to want to create content around this perfect ideal client so really think about who it is now hi to the person that I got um, a question from who asked me how do I start I want to work with people that are 30 men and women and I want to do affiliate marketing and that's another type of styling um, that would be considered affiliate marketing virtual styling providing options and links to people when they want to hire you to work with them sorry my dog is like trying to play with me he thinks I'm on the phone right now and so he wants attention like who's calling us type thing Lucy, can you sit down, please? Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. So like I was saying, hi to the person that asked me this. I'm so glad you did because what's crazy is how alignment works. You asked me this and I had already written out a script on how to actually deliver this question. If you're wanting to work with people who are, you know, 30 men and women, I think, you know, that's a good start. But you want to narrow that down a bit more because you need to know what that person's style is going to be and who that person is as far as why they would want a stylist like narrow that down and i don't want to necessarily say niche 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 down but you do need to really determine who, who, what the angle is like who is that ideal customer going to be that you'll be able to deliver their styling services for like in considering your packages alone like you need to know like I'm creating a package where I'll come and I'll you know do their closet or I'll come in and I'll help them get dressed for their work attire or what that may be because different jobs have different work attires are you working with actresses it's going to be different than the work attire that you would be providing to someone who's working in there in the office or working from home virtually over zoom all day so you really need to narrow down who that ideal customer is going to be and you can really start doing this by pulling photos which is the second part pulling photos and putting them on a, a vision board. I would call this a mood board, not a vision board. They're hand in hand for me because it's a vision of you seeing the existence of what's going to be. So you'll create a mood, a mood board, go to Staples, go to Michael's, go to Joann's, get a board. 
start pulling photos from Instagram, Pinterest, uh, magazines even, and rip them out. Start putting them on this board so that you can visually see the type of person that you want to be working with. And this is not only gonna help you in regards to understanding what your perfect ideal client looks like, but then you can also get an idea of where they are, who they are, what they do, what they love, where they hang out, how they may be dressing. So once you put this mood board together, then you're really going to want to start creating photo shoots around this ideal client. Like you have this big board, you can visually see, this is who my perfect customer is gonna be. I can see myself styling and putting these outfits together for someone or my clients. And I need to start actually putting a portfolio together in order to attract this ideal client. Like these are other people's photos on this mood board. I need to create my own mood board which will be considered your portfolio. You're creating your portfolio and maybe you're like, okay, I don't even know how to create a portfolio. What am I supposed to do? You wanna start looking at your board, one. You have the idea, that's your focal point. That's, that's your angle. That's what your brand is gonna start being created and designed around. So you wanna start finding clothes that look similar to these outfits and also you're going to want to find models and photographers and I mean if you need help with MUAs or people that you can start creating photo shoots with that represent this. It needs to visually look this way because you're going to be using these photos and you're going to be putting them on your website. You're going to be using them for your social media handles. You're going to be using them where you can. So you need to have these photos and you need to be consistent with creating these photos. Batching is great, but also being consistent enough to put together a few photo shoots, maybe one or two a month or if you can't do two a month just do one a month and put three outfits together or four outfits together until you start building and the more you start creating the easier it's going to be the more confident you're going to be creating it and you're going to get a feel of maybe even i don't really necessarily like you know this style aesthetic i can switch it up a little bit and i know how to make it my own so you're going to want to start creating photo shoots that you will use for your portfolio. Now another part of the question that the person asked was, well, where am, I, where am I putting my portfolio? Your portfolio can be your website. And what you're going to want to do is grab a domain that reflects that. Now, when you're thinking about a domain, you want it to represent you, but you also want it to represent your brand. So after you've kind of got an idea of who your ideal client is going to be, you put your mood board together, you put these looks together, you really are going to want to think of a name. And when I'm working with clients, I always tell them to write down at least 10 to 20 different names. And you're going to go to a website, maybe like hover.com or GoDaddy, and you're going to search these names in the search engine and see if they've already been taken. And the reason you want to do this is because if it's already been taken, there's no point in trying to get it and make a website on it. And it's going to go to somebody else's or you have to pay too much money in order to buy the domain. That's a whole nother story. So just fill it out. See which ones you like best. Pick two or three out of that and then see on Hover or um, GoDaddy which one is actually available. After you've done that, you're going to find a hoster. And a hoster is going to be where you're uploading all your photos, your videos, all the content that you started to build up and create for your portfolio. And you'll put it there. And the reason why you want to have this is because, you know, when people are searching for you, now you're starting to build up the momentum of you creating content and you're putting it on your website you're also putting it on your social media handles this is great for you because you're starting to build the foundation of your brand the foundation is everything because your clients are gonna look you up like I mean if you're if somebody is trying to work with you it, it takes a person seven times to see you before they actually buy so they're going to be looking you up whichever way, whether it be your website, whether it be your social media, maybe you were on a podcast, maybe you were out and about, like they're going to find and look you up. So you need to have that brand foundation set first. Not only are your clients going to look for you, but also if you're trying to work with affiliate programs, especially the fashion affiliate programs, I mean, you're here on this channel, it's fashion related. 
they're gonna wanna see if you're serious about your business before they even accept you to be a part of the program. You have to apply. So they wanna see that your business is legit. Not necessarily when I say legit, but like see that you're actually trying to take this serious. Like you don't have to have it all flushed out. Nothing's ever going to be perfect, especially when you're starting out. And even as you go through it, like you're gonna learn things, you're gonna get better at things because you're consistently working towards, you know, what you're creating. So People are going to look you up, especially these affiliate programs, and they're gonna to wanna to see if you are consistently posting, if the quality is good, if you are you know, talking about the products and services or the, the business that you have, does it relate to the products that they have? So for example, like LTK, they're going, you have to apply or shop style, like you have to apply. These are affiliate programs that has websites and shopping and stores that you actually shop at like ASOS, Nordstrom's, Bergdorf, Saks, like they have these stores that you can use their links to provide to your clients to shop. If you're putting the outfit together and you have these three links for the blouse, you have the link for your the skirt, you have the link for the jacket, the shoes, and you give it to your client and they buy it, you get a commission. These major corporations like um, Shop Style or LTK, they're gonna wanna see that your business is legit. And like if you're, you're set up, like you're real, really out here you know, providing content, content, your foundation. So your niche and you building your foundation should be your main focus when you are starting out as a stylist. Don't overthink it and feel like, oh my gosh, well, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna go and I gotta figure out where I'm gonna go and get my clients. Really just fall in love with the process of creating. As you start to build relationships with photographers, models, maybe you don't even have a model or maybe you don't even have a photographer, use your phone. You be the model. You start out there. Don't let the model, don't let the photographer, don't let the right camera, don't let any of that stop you from starting to build your portfolio because you can do it right now. You can learn how to use your phone to capture the right photos, some good quality photos. There's apps that you can edit on as well, and you can make it look professional enough to start your portfolio now, to start building out your, your website and your social media and being consistent with that. You want to get in the flow with that so that you can also get a pattern going of that side of your business because once the foundation is set up and everything, you're going to then want to consistently post on whichever platform you decide to use in order to start drawing your clients in. And as you're drawing your clients in, you're really going to want to put out content that not only shows the style, but also shows the reasoning of why someone would want to work with you, building trust building trust enough so that they feel comfortable enough to reach out to you or you feel comfortable or ready to reach out to them. Being consistent and posting your content will build up your momentum and consistency and confidence in reaching out to other people. So that's another reason why building your, your foundation is going to be important because it's going to help you just be more confident in what you're doing. A lot of times when you're starting out, you just feel like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know if this is right. I don't know, you know, all these different things. And it's like, don't, don't do that. Don't self-sabotage yourself. Just start creating because that's what you love to do anyway. It's more of the focus on the aftermath of what's going to happen if someone rejects me or what's going to happen if, you know, I don't know what I'm doing. That, that thought is what's really in your head or how are people going to perceive me if you know, I'm doing something like this so don't do that just have fun just start creating and start building out your portfolio the foundation of your business as I said I do really heavily go over how to build out the brand foundation of your styling business and my stylist starter kit I'll leave a link below if you guys are interested in it you can definitely grab that so that you can actually understand and know exactly where to go to well, really just where to start you know you'll know all the places to go for your domain your website how to set up the por portfolio so that you can get started right now 
right now. Like, don't let anything stop you from getting started right now. You have everything you need in you to do this. Now, what I will say is, as you're creating this, you need to be taking it serious. Is this a hobby for you? Or is this going to be something that you really want to do and see yourself doing long term? And the reason why I say this is because it's going to be some type of sacrifice. It's going to be some type of sacrifice with your time, with money. Maybe you have to go shopping for some of these looks. And I, I'm not going to say this. A lot of stylists, they'll act like they're not buying and returning, but they definitely are. These celebrity stylists they're setting up these accounts and doing all that i don't recommend it i have done it myself and that's why i wouldn't recommend it but you're building out your portfolio you're trying to get it started you gotta do what you gotta do i get that but maybe you just don't have the money or resources to do that i don't know but you have to really start thinking maybe i put some money aside from my check this week maybe i'll consistently put some money aside from my check each week so that i can start Okay, my dog's starting to play now. Maybe I put some money to the side so that I can actually start to build up a little wardrobe so that I can start putting my portfolio together. Maybe I'm blocking off four hours on Saturday morning so that I can do a photo shoot. These are different um, sacrifices that you're making in order to get your business off the ground you know you have maybe you have a, a full-time job and you're trying to do this on the side there's going to be some type of sacrifice is what i'm saying so you have to make sure that this is something that you really want to do and you have to be committed and consistent with this until you see it through don't think that it's going to happen in a week don't think that it's going to happen in a month three months six months maybe not, not maybe not even a year so really know that you need to fall in love with this process of creating so that as your clients come in you consistently have a routine with you creating and you also have the routine of how you'll attract your clients which we'll talk about more if you haven't checked out my video on how to market yourself as a stylist you'll definitely want to check that out too but i really wanted you to understand that the focal point especially right now should be your brand foundation building a brand people don't realize that it's not just with styling it's with any business you have you have to build your brand first and then you'll start to build your clients because the more you show up the more consistent you are with showing up for yourself first that is how you'll build trust with your audience and your your clients and then they'll start to see you it'll continue to grow the momentum the momentum will grow you'll get better and better at your skills and things will start to flow like for real so things will really start to flow and then you just know, you never know who's looking you never know who's watching you never know who needs your services so as you continue to grow i promise you you will see you will see the product of your your actions the results of your actions the results of you showing up for yourself you will really see it so if anything that you get from this video i just want you to know that it's all about making sure you start on building up your brand yourself first and then you'll start to promote and put out all of these things in order to start drawing those clients to you you'll feel more confident when you're reaching out because you'll have you'll have your portfolio you'll have your experience behind you you'll have these things that you're confident that you know you're able to produce so just think about if you were to consistently be putting together photo shoots someone reaches out to you boom you know exactly what to do you know the stores to go to you know how to set up everything your mood boards figuring out the the sizes because you work with this model or even for yourself like you know exactly what you need to do and it's like it's like clockwork you know what's up i hope this video was helpful for you guys if you have any questions leave it in the comments below i really want to know what is it that you feel like you don't really know where to start with the brand foundation or whatever it may be i'm here to answer your questions or if it's something even totally unrelated to that drop it in the comments below i want to know how i can help you in any way and i love you guys i'll see you next time bye